Hey, and good day. It's Chris Gunman, author of the Basic Fantasy Role Playing Game. I've been asked on several occasions to record a session, a live session, uh, of Basic Fantasy for the education, edification, whatever, of the general gaming public. Uh, I personally don't think I'm that fantastic of a game master, uh, but that's fine. If you want to see it, it's going to be here. Now, I didn't do a live session. Uh, under the current circumstances, live sessions are basically over for the duration. Uh, so this is a screen recording of a Roll20 session. It is the second session for this group uh, with one player replacement. I tried to record the first session and had some difficulties with my recording technology. Let me give you a quick rundown on what's going on here. Uh, I am running the uh, Call of Doom adventure from the Castle by the Sea, CS1 Castle by the Sea adventure series uh, from the Basic Fantasy website or you can buy it from uh, Amazon or Lulu. Uh, this is the one that I wrote, the original version of Castle by the Sea before uh, we open up for the contest. Uh, the main reason I chose it wasn't just that it's my own adventure, it is. Uh, but that it is the lowest level of all of the adventures in that series. Uh, I told the players to create characters using the quick character generation supplement. Each one was to pick a line from the from that uh, book and from that supplement and use that line of statistics for their character. Everybody was given the same amount of money to spend uh, and everyone was given 3,000 experience points plus bonuses. Just incidentally, if you have the urge to run a pickup game starting in the middle somewhere, uh, do not make everybody the same level in Basic Fantasy because experience point costs are different for different classes. You should start them all at the same experience point number, allowing the bonuses for human or half human if you're using the half human supplement. 10% uh, for humans, 5% for half humans. Uh, so. For this game, I gave everybody 3,000 experience points to the humans, and almost everyone has been human, which is, is a little unusual for me. Uh, all had 3,300 experience points, making clerics and thieves third level, and everybody else second level, basically. Uh, so that's the, that's the rundown of where we started from. I put the call out on the forum, and a number of people volunteered, and after some uh, wrangling over the dates and times, we filtered that down to four, and then, as I said, we had a player who had to be replaced for this second session. So that's the that's the setup. Now, in the first session of this, we had a loss of uh, two player characters, so 50% of the four play, four player character party were killed off in the course of examining two rooms of the dungeon. Uh, they actually pretty much walked into a ambush situ situation uh, and that was pretty hard on them. And of course fighting giant spiders who have poison is pretty hard on them. So when the video starts you'll see that parts of the map have already been exposed. These are the parts that the existing characters who survived from the previous week knew about and so I went ahead and left them exposed on the map for them to see just hit the contents in terms of monsters and so forth that might have restocked. Um, the players were asked to make their names at the bottom of the screen, their actual in-game names the same as their player character names. For my convenience, these are people I don't know real well. Um, in this group, um, one of the players is one of the artists from the Basic Fantasy Project, but he had, he had never played in a game with me before. And I really didn't know the other three guys much at all before we started. So this was kind of a new thing for all of us. Uh, but I asked them to make their names on the screen the same as their character names, and I simply addressed everybody in general uh, by their characters' names. Uh, there is a couple of exceptions you'll catch going through the video. Um, and finally, in order to do the screen recording, uh, and to record a player's eye view of the game, I needed to be recording a player. So I created a second account on Roll20 uh, for a player, for a fictional player. You'll note the name at the bottom of the screen for the fictional player is Uatu. If you are a Marvel Comics fan, you'll recognize the name of the Watcher. Um, Uatu is the Watcher in this case. Uh, a second computer in my office that I was using basically for screen recording. 
Uh, the first time around, I ran into a limitation with the amount of time the recorder would record that I did not know needed to be preset longer. The second time through, I didn't have that problem. I did have one glitch early on, but it's not a big deal. Um, the video you're about to watch uh, may have a few edits. Uh, there was a break or two in, in the middle that I think I may have cut out. Uh, I'm not going to try and explain all that. There's a roughly two, two and a half hours of video coming after this introduction. Um, I have personally really never enjoyed uh, watching, listening to this kind of thing, but I know there are a lot of people who do. Um, so here's hoping that this is something that, that they will enjoy, that uh, you, the watcher, will enjoy. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for coming, and here's our video. All right. Well, when we left off last time around, uh, you guys had uh, made a second foray into the into the castle. Um, you found the big bad guy, and he handed you your rear ends. Hmm. He actually walked into the room. So anyway, um, John, I don't know if you're familiar with. I know you did the art for the cover. Um, trouble. I'm talking to John Fredericks. Um, yep. I don't, I, if you're familiar with this adventure, uh, I hope you'll keep your foreknowledge to yourself. Uh, I, I haven't looked at it in a while, so okay, we're good. But anyway, they came back to town telling a story of how they uh, walked into the into a throne room full of dead bodies, and they proceeded to walk all the way into the room, walking among the bodies, which then, of course, got up and attacked them, <clears throat> costing them a party member and uh, resulting in their, you know, quick abdication from the building. Um, an undead monster, uh, apparently, uh, is responsible for this. Uh, skeletons kidnapped children and stole food, very strange things, from people who woke up in the night unable to move. So that was the, the hook that had them. Everybody here is a local except Varel. Um, you're all human except for him, he's an elf. Uh, and you're all from this local area. The towns of Benwitty and Karsten, uh, long rivals in a friendly fashion, and the castle by the sea is um, relatively closer to Benwitty, but both both uh, towns are you know within some reasonable walking distance. And for whatever reason, Trouble has decided to replace the uh, abdicating Loric and take over the t task of being the thief for the party. I think Thank that gets up to date. So. I'm going to leave the planning to you guys now. It's, it's about like the town of Bree kind of and Lothen Rings. Or... Not really. Oh, no. Is there anything there. you want to do in town before we re proceed back to the castle? Hmm. Pay it more food. Are we good on food? Or? Well, I have no money. Oh. <laughs> So I can do no shopping. Um, I have eight points. I have, I have eight co coins left. We could try to gather rumors, I guess. That sounds uh, good. You pretty much exhausted that last time. Okay. Okay. So are we ready? I think so. Uh, yeah. Yep. Bingo. Now. Oh, yeah, it's the same one. Presently, I have the rooms uncovered that you've been through. I will darken them when you come when you come through their doors. Unless you have light, which, of course, that's the first question. Who's got light? Everybody should have light. I have a torch. Yeah, I have, I have torches as well. I can let, uh, light a torch. I can see in the dark, so I don't need it. I Okay, so Theodore is going to light a torch. Is that where we're at? Yeah, I'm going to light my torch. I'm on the wrong torch. layer. Okay, I am real quick going to uh, mark out Theodore so I can keep track of his light. Okay, so um, you guys are driving. Go ahead and position yourselves where you want to be. First thing up is probably marching order, or just move to wherever you want to start from. Um, you, you're, you're the strong guy, right? Yeah. Varel, as Varel, Varel should go first. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just put him here. And then... 
I, I don't know if the rest of the group has a preference since I'm also armored, but I'm not as tough. If I should be in the back or right behind Daryl. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go single file? Do you want to go two by two? I'll, let's do a single file with you in the back. Okay. Enemies always tend to ambush people in the back. And I can't move my guy for some reason. Where's the bullshit? shift? Oh, okay. I got mixed up. Okay. All right. So I'm in the back. I tagged the wrong person. Okay. Well, I'll take second there. No problem. And, and you, you gentlemen have been in here before. Well, we, we've attempted to be uh, in here before, but we didn't get very far. Okay. I, I thought we, yeah, we should have drawn oil onto that room, burn all the bodies. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> and maybe we should have checked for that giant snake that's still uh, probably uh, around. Well, the good news is the giant snake apparently is still dead. That's not always oh, yeah, good. Kill but you guys can go ahead and proceed into the first room if you want to. The door is still hanging somewhat open. Okay. We're going to, we're going to start. <clears throat> the large doors ahead of you have been closed, but then again that was that happened last time just before just before or just after the next the last one of you got out, leaving Oh, what was his name? That poor guy who died. Anyway. Well, you do well, we uh, assume he died. He was trapped, trapped well, in the roof of the Ark of Columbia. So. Ragnar, yeah. Yes, him. Oh, yeah. Kind of funny how in middle, in middle, middle Ages, everybody was the bold or the third. Or... <laughs> okay. Um, so we need to decide on a direction. I don't know if we want to just jump right into trouble or maybe explore. Uh, can we try uh, Throw like an oil into that room. Because the zombie's drying there, so. Sure, we could. It could be reinforced. I mean, I, I don't know. And, and that was, that was a, um, well, see, Humble Shift knows nothing about what's in that room. So I really can't say. Do we have like a, someone with good interrupt? Seems to me like Theodore and Varel are the ones who can tell the story of what happened. And between the two of them, I think Theodore tells the most interesting stories. <laughs> well, we uh, we went into the into the chamber of into the, into the room, and uh, I think we encountered a lot of dead bodies lying around. Uh, we proceeded to uh, enter the room some more, and then we saw a throne, if I remember correctly, with a skeleton on it. And then everything uh, went badly. Uh, the the dead bodies reanimated. Uh, there's probably still zombies behind this very door. Uh, and then I think we ran, or no, oh no, the the there's the magical darkness also appeared, and we had to uh, run for our lives. Basically, at least those of us uh, that were still alive at the time. I say we could we could take the the door, but we could also uh, uh, see what the other door uh, go see what the other door is uh, like. Can I can I take a look at the door uh, the the door uh, the southern door? The one to your right. Yeah, the one to my right. Go ahead, move over there. Oh yeah, what is it? And it is a door. You don't think it's probably stuck. It looks like it's in not exactly an ideal condition, but it doesn't appear like it's jammed or anything. You could probably just grab the handle and give a firm pull and walk through. Yeah, if I you dare. Yeah. I'm going to uh, 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 smell uh, at the 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 edge of the door if i can smell any uh any odors of death ah if you smell the odor of death that's a good question you do in fact smell the odor of death but 
it kind of is in the room in general. Uh, you can't really tell that it's any more at the door than where you were before. Well, well guys, it doesn't smell good, but so does uh, the whole place stinks of death. Do you want me to check the door for traps or see if it's locked? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let me just move uh, back a little. <laughs> <laughs> Lot. Trouble's checking the door for traps, huh? Okay. Hang on a moment whilst I look at your character sheet. 63 is not going to be good enough at this level. Okay. So I, I, I think the door's totally safe, I tell her. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a relief. And you didn't detect any traps, so you're right about that. <laughs> okay, and then did I did, did I hear anything? Ah, did you hear anything? That's a good question. No, nope. silence of the tomb. Mm. Well, in this place, well, that's good. <laughs> that's not a good sign. <laughs> you can you can hear waves crashing outside, but after all, the castle practically sets in the water. I think we should go into the order. Okay, so you're going in? Yeah. Okay. Big, probably big old on those two other sliders. So, Barrel's going to open the door? Yes. Okay, turned it. All right, let's see what's behind that door. Door number one. One brave elf. Oh. So, so the one has got to make a stand. And there's nothing in the corridor. It looks pretty much like the other other corridor on the other side. I want to. I would like to go in. How far? Um, thirty feet. Um, well, it's only twenty. Twenty feet then. All the way to the end. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go there. I go up to the edge of the door and I uh, look at the ceiling. Uh, on this side of the door, your door hasn't been opened yet. So you're looking at the ceiling in the corridor. Theodore, oh, yeah, exactly. sorry, no, I was uh, I, I had mute on. Uh, exactly, I'm going to look at the ceiling of the little corridor. Okay, well, it's uh, about. Uh, uh, 10 feet up and appears to be unoccupied so far anyway so uh is barrel and gonna barrel gonna open the next door then it doesn't appear to be doesn't appear to be blocked anyway how about a, how about another listen trouble yep <laughs> Right, Chris rolls that for me. That's fine. Uh, you got to move up though. Okay. You don't. You don't roll, but you do need to move into position so that when the door explodes, we'll all know who all know who got hit. No, the door didn't explode, and you didn't hear anything. Okay, I'm open it. I'm going to open the door then. Well, do you want to check it for traps? Yeah, check for traps, please. Okay. We're putting trouble to work. That's, that's find any traps either. She's doing all right so far. She hasn't got killed, so we, we're happy with that. So, uh, you gonna open the door, Varel, or what are we gonna do here? Yeah, I'm gonna open the door. Uh, I'll move up a little closer at the same time. I guess I'll move up there now. It's uh mid morning, so the sunshine does come through the arrow slits, illuminating the area, and of course. Besides that, um, we have a torch. So between the two, you can see the room pretty clearly. It looks empty. I'm, 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 going, I'm, I'm going to go inside. How far inside? Because uh, I'm going to say not far. <laughs> okay. You just move your figure and I'll know where you are. Five feet. Five feet. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to look, look around. Your finely tuned elfin senses uh, are straining for the possibility of imminent doom, but 
the ceiling doesn't fall on you, the floor doesn't rise up to kill you, and there doesn't appear to be any monsters in the room. Oh, that's cool. So far, so good. We're still alive. All right, what guess now? Another, another door there to listen for and check for traps. I'll move you in a little Neither hear nor see anything threatening at that door. Okay. Those spiders in this door. Not, not this one, but. Right, right, the other tower. Yeah. So I heard. Of course, Humble Shift doesn't know anything about that because Humble Shift wasn't here last week. It was the bold guy. Yeah. My, <laughs> there my are old adventurers and there are bold adventurers, but there are no old, bold adventurers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Trouble, can you see anything uh, fishy about the door or is it safe? Every, everything seems seems good so far. Well, open her up. Okay. And who's doing the opening? Does it open towards us that I can like open it and kind of hide behind? It, it? opens. It opens away from you to, to the right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll open it, but I don't want to be standing in the doorway when I open it. So where are you standing? I guess right there. Will that work? Uh, you can't reach the doorknob from there, not unless your arms are, arms oh, yeah. are about six feet over there. Okay. I'll make some room so you can run away. You're gonna push her open, huh? Yep, push it open. Okay, and Theodore is over there. And Theodore has a torch, but there is some daylight. So you see this much corridor in front of you. Mm. And it looks empty. Yeah, I'll, I'll but of course, it's in, in the darkness and you can't see beyond it. So maybe we could have our elf come take a, a, a look further down. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll... I'll, I'll wave my down. torch in the general direction. Um, right there. That second square. If Bayrill steps through the door and then pushes it mostly shut behind him, he can use his, his elven vision. I would do that. My elven vision. Okay. How do I do that? Just well, he'll adjust the... Uh... Okay. There's a doorway. There's a couple of doors there. Yeah. yeah. So you've got two doors and then one at the end, it looks like. Okay. That looks more mysterious. Um, interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, ready for us to join you? Yes. Okay. You guys going to go on in? Okay, now um, I'm not going to read. I'm not going to close it off. But basically, you can't see past the second door on the left at this point. Now that there's light behind you, Veril can't see in the dark, and the people with the light can only see that far. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just have to take Veril's word for it that there's a door down there, at the end of the corridor. <sighs> How far the do you want to go? That, that door right there, that square. The right silence here. in this corridor is almost oppressive. Well, that's not a good sign. Can we give trouble to pick right the door up for traps? Sure, ask him. Hey, trouble, do you want to check for traps on that door? This one right here? Yes. Sure. sure. Well, you don't find any traps. This door does appear like it might be jammed, though. And there's one right next to it as well, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. there. Yep. I check when I check that one too while I'm here. Okay. That's good. Oh, I'm gonna step up while you're doing that. Okay. It's great. Well, that doesn't appear to have any traps on either. Well, this is like uh, twice as far as we made it last week. Yeah, <laughs> making progress. <laughs> do these do these, <laughs> do these two doors uh, look similar to all the other doors, or are they? Uh, They're all the very. Ones? The doors are all very similar, but these don't appear to have been used as much as the doors you just came through. 
you would mm -hmm. guess that somebody has been moving around inside this castle uh, enough to keep those doors operational, but these doors, they may have been opened recently, but not very many times. The hinges are pretty rusty. They'll probably squeal like thunder when you open them. And you think they're probably stuck. I'm going to just push it open. Okay, which which door? The one you're standing in front yes. of? Or? Okay. Yes. All right. Well. So what's, um, so what's happening here? I'm going to um, push the door open. Okay, I'm going to have to point this out to you. I can't make you guys' voices out. You all sound just a little bit okay. too much alike. So call. So you need to, you need to tell me something in the third person, like Vero is going to open the door, or Trouble's okay. going to open the door, or whatever. Vero is going to push the door open. Vero needs to roll a d6 and see if he can overcome the stiffness of the door. Okay. Okay, leading to the question, just exactly how strong is Vero? I have strength, so... Vero yeah. got the door open. Congratulations! All right. I'm Yay! So I'm so pleased. Hopefully they don't close the door. Oh. Oh. And this is the point at which we roll for initiative. Now I'm going to point this out for you guys that aren't familiar with this. When you click on your figure... On the upper left corner, you should have a button labeled init and roll for initiative with that button. I need to change tools. Yep. So everybody needs to go up there and roll for initiative like I'm going to do right now for the monsters. I'm not seeing an init button. Whoops. No. You don't have one next to the little arrow in the upper corner? <coughs> Uh, and I'm, I'm sorry, no, where, where? In the upper where? left corner of the display, on the map display, there is an arrow. Oh. Pointer, pointer arrow, next, right next to that, there should be a button that says init if you have clicked on your figure. No, I don't see it. Huh. Yeah, I don't see it. Well, I don't have the ability to check that. All right, just do just roll up a straight D6 plus your dex bonus. Curious. Ah, uh, looks like Trouble and Shift are doing pretty well. They're both faster than the skeletons, unfortunately. Not necessarily. Okay, I assume Veril's got the one. Yes. So everybody's fast except Veril. Okay, so anybody wants to move before the monsters move can go ahead and... Oh, and Veril's the one holding the door on the one, of course. What are the rest of you guys going to do? Um, I'm going to move it back a little bit. If if I move to Veril's right, um, would the skeletons be able to see me? Yeah, the door's open. Okay. Oh, I need to change. Whoops. Let's have this guy. Right, I'm going to move Veril for just one second, just to get him out of the way, so I can turn my thing. There we go. Okay. Uh, and that's all I can do is move. You can attack if you want to, if you've got anything with fight with more than five foot of reach or a ranged weapon in hand. Uh, I'm going to try turning undead. You can try that. Okay. Hopefully you're just... um, let's see. So it's a, a D20, I think, right? Jeff, if you will click on your character sheet, you should find that there's a die right next to skeleton on turn undead. Just click on that little die, die button on your character sheet. Gotcha. And you succeeded. Oh. Congratulations. Now, roll, oh. me two D6. roll me two D6s. You need to do that manually. Okay. Um. So, the skeletons all cower in the back of the room. Sweet. <laughs> right. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Now, what are you going to do? Uh, I think that's all I can do, isn't it? Well, the question is, what's the rest of the part? What are you guys going to do now? Basically, combat is over because you've turned all the monsters. Okay, I'll move up. Uh... So they are all going to stand back there. I mean, the question basically at this point is, are you going to shut the door and move on? Are you going to, I don't know, whatever you might think of. I'm going to swing 
Um, Maybe it's a better idea to just uh, jam the door shut again. There's there's no visible doors in, in this room. No, no other doors in the room. No. There's part of the room you can't see. Um, hang on a minute. Let me. Theodore has moved, so I can do this. There's a little bit more room around the corner over there. And it looks like there might be more monsters in it, but they are also turned because Schiff is a whole lot better at this clericking business, I guess. <laughs> he's humble, but why is he humble? Because he's got no reason he's good. <laughs> um, we might want to pick a, a, a look around in there since, since these guys are incapacitated. If you go in the room, if you crowd them, they can attack you. Oh, can we, uh, if you, can we throw a corner, if you corner turned undead, then the turning is done. Schiff would know this. It was part of the training. Can we just check out the open out the door? Since he well, you know, you had an idea there about throwing flaming oil into the room. That's not a bad idea. And it would hurt them too, right? Well, it would just hurt them. wouldn't hurt us. Okay. Most likely. Not unless you fumble. <laughs> I don't do fumbles. Don't worry about it. I think, um, I think. Well, I, I don't, I don't know who's next though. It's not. Oh. You. We're not in rounds. You guys don't need to follow initiative. Do whatever you want to do now. Once you've got the monsters backed off, you can, you can do whatever you want. Well, what do you guys think? You want to throw flaming oil in there? Destroy these things? Well, not particularly, but <laughs> do you think that's a good idea? Well, I mean, if they, they're burning up, so they can't, wouldn't be able to move anyway, so. so it's, not, it's not like they're uh, really uh, posing a threat at the moment. We could just jam the door shut again and move on. Uh, that, that's probably the best option. How are we going to jam? How will we jam the, the door anyway? Yeah, how would we jam the door? Did anybody buy iron spikes? I do have iron oh, spikes. Oh, I do too. Uh, we both have iron spikes? Yeah. Well, I have two. <clears throat> oh, it's you, Adam. I don't have yeah. them. You do. I'm I'm sorry. Use, I want to put iron spikes on the door. Okay. So you're going to shut the door and spike it? Yes. Okay. Very good. Now what? Is that that door? Move up to the other door? Or perhaps, didn't he? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, Trouble, okay. Trouble did check the next door and said it was not trapped. Okay. I, I, who would like to open it? I think you should like to open it. Okay. I'm going to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you hear anything, Trouble, on the other side? Uh, I haven't heard. I haven't heard anything all night. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bar Barrow's going to open the door. If that's okay. I'm going to step over here. Uh, okay, so I need a D6 roll for Barrow, please. Okay. Oh. Uh, and Beryl is unable to open the door. Well, how does she want to roll low? Uh, okay. Uh, I can try it. My, I, I'm somewhat feeble, though. You get huge your hammer. <laughs> yeah. We, we could try together. That's fine. That's good. Okay. So who's going at the door? Shift and barrel together? Yeah. yeah. Roll me another D6, guys. Ah, with a little help. You just needed a little help to get it open. I got to use a crank bonuses or something. Oh, my. What in the world? Ooh, what are those? Those are also skeletons, but they're armed with bows. Oh. Time to roll for oh, no. again, gentlemen. Oh. All right. Hopefully you can turn them. <laughs> Okay, so that was a shift. I got a four. Barrel got a four. 
viral. Is it viral or viral? Viral. Viral. Yeah. So I got a five. Everybody else got a four except for Trouble, who is fast. What is Trouble going to do? Well, unless we're going to jam these guys in there. Um, see, I don't want to go in. I, I, I'll try a bow shot at him. Okay, as you wish. The 20 plus 3, I believe, is my range bonus. 6. No, if my arrow goes in and does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a listener, not a shooter. Oh. And now it's the monster's turn. Oh, my gosh. How many of these guys are there? Whoa. There's only seven of them. Oh, okay. Mm. And well. Okay, so Vero, what is your armor class? Is it 15? I thought it was 16. It's a 16. It says 16 to me. Okay. Excuse me. So that one was a miss. And that one was a miss. And that one was a hit. So Barrel takes three points of damage. That's not two. That's not four. Meanwhile, shift. I mean three. Yeah, three. Has an armor class of not filled in. Same thing, because fifteen. Oh, I didn't. I never 15, updated. Sixteen. Yeah, you also have sixteen. I fixed it. Okay. Character sheets updated, and let's roll some attacks and see if we can hit you. Probably not. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Completely missed you. Cool. Uh, and it's everybody else's turn now. I lost my spear from that snake battle. Um. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna charge them uh, with my two hands. Okay. All right. You're gonna go in and fight. Yeah. All those guys. Okay. Do I just roll like a D10 or something? No. You, you always, to do an attack, it's always a D20. Okay. And so your attack bonus and everything. Oh, why should I roll on his, his character? Uh, but let me see. Barrel. What's your attack bonus? With two, oh, you're a plus four. So that's a 16, I think. Well, that hits. Okay. Let's roll some damage. You're using a two-handed sword, so that's a D10. Strength bonus of plus two. Um, One D10 well, plus two. Okay, so D, D10 plus two. Okay. So six points. Yeah. The sword... Barely bites into their bone, but it does do some damage. Chips go flying. Uh, Schiff and, Dr and Theodore still have uh, actions this round. What are you guys going to do? Uh, Theodore's going to look around if there's a, like a, a sconce where I can put my torch in somewhere or on the wall, maybe. Uh, off the top of your head, you don't see anything. Um, you can see holes in the walls where there might once have been torch sconces or perhaps hooks to hold lanterns, but they appear long gone. Shift, what about you? Uh, I'm going to try turning undead again. Go for it. All right. They got bows, but they're still just skeletons. So you can go back over your sheet and hit that button and go for it. Oops. Oh, Not so lucky this time. Oh, five. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. And that makes it initiative for the next round. Skeletons are moving on two, guys. Roll your initiative. At least they can't shoot me now. <clears throat> okay, so looks to me like everybody is faster. Um, trouble's fastest. What you gonna do? 
Is there anything, anything in the room that looks flammable? No, the room is bare. It's just a stone room in there. It's just a stone room. It, whatever furnishings it might once have held have been removed. Okay, then I guess we'll just try another arrow. That's all we can do here. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to go in with Farrell because I, I I didn't have much luck. I mean, let me try and hit him with, uh, with my sword. A short, a short, short sword. Okay. Sixteen. Oh yes. Sixteen hits. Yeah, and I don't think I I forget, I, I don't think I have I don't have any strength bonus, so that's just the one d six. And it's a roll there. Yeah, two points of damage on one of them. So you front stabbed him. So you like nicked him. Yep, not much. Okay. Uh, and shift. I want to say to Farrell, maybe we should get out of here and shut the door. That sounds good. Uh, nice joke. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to try, can I try turning undead again? Generally, that's not going to be effective if you failed the first time. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm think I'll drop the holy symbol and take out the, uh, the war hammer. I'm okay. Gonna... You know, you got a problem. You got a girl thief in front of you. Oh, right. I forgot. Okay. Um, I I will take a... I'm, I'm going to give you guys moral support. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means um, it's the monster's turn. So, attacking um, Varil in melee with a short sword and missing him attacking Varel with a bow from a rank back and that is also a miss and it also is a miss on his com on the skeleton's comrade and the last one missed and missed his comrade attacking uh looks like trouble in melee with a short sword nope Missile? Nope. Man, you guys are lucky this time. Oh, wait a minute. There's a guy back there that can shoot Varel at an angle. He takes a shot, too. Oh. Oh. A guy in the back row that's just around the corner can, can target Varel. I hadn't noticed that last round. but Three more points of damage. That makes six for Varel, right? How much do I have left? Uh, seven. Well, the good news is if they keep doing one d six, one more hit won't kill you. <laughs> I know, but still, I would. I don't think Barrel would appreciate it very much if I get killed. If he gets killed, uh, probably not. Yeah, I think. And a lot that good. is initiative, guys. Let me roll. So six is what you guys are up against. Um, I'm, I've got. I do have a cure light. Oh, that's good. I just got land the door. Trouble. Oh, okay. I you need initiative for me. I'm sorry. I need initiative for you. Everybody else has rolled. I didn't realize it was the next round. That's okay. It's surprising how much this is like running a game at an actual table. There's always somebody who's looking the other way. Everybody's slow, so guess what I get to do now? No. So, there are like four guys attacking Varel. Lovely. And... and one, two, three, four. I rolled too many. But one of those is a hit. That's not the last one, obviously. Varel takes another four. Now one more hit can kill him. And versus trouble. Oh, that ain't right. Ignore that roll. And now three. Trouble. One, two, three. What's trouble's AC? Fourteen. Fourteen? Aren't you lucky? Because yep. thirteen would have got you hit. So all those arrows missed you. And I should roll to see if any of the misses hit. Okay, actually, 
Um, one of the skeletons in the back row shot the opponent in front of Verrill, <laughs> and one of them shot the opponent in front of Trouble. Winging, digging them slightly. Arrows don't seem to do much damage to them. They're all bones. That's my wife. Uh, and it's all you guys' turn now. Um, I think we're going to leave that room. Just back to close to um, Well, you'd have to tell Trouble to get out. Okay. Um, and then you'd have to follow. That that makes sense to me. But yeah, that sounds good, actually. Trouble has a five. Veril has a four for initiative. So if Veril tells Trouble to leave, Trouble will have left the room before Veril... T- <laughs> Tell sir. I'll get I'll get out. <laughs> See? That's good. Can I get out and make a shot or no? Uh not from from there you can, yeah. Well, yeah. Kind of shooting around the cleric there. Why well, is there a chance of hitting him? Because I don't want to do that if there's a chance of hitting him. Maybe you can get that maybe you can get him to step out of the way. Duck down. Oh. Duck <laughs> Duck Duck cleric. Roll your d20. Up, oh, nope, didn't hit. Okay, but I'm out. Of, I, I'm out of the room, so Barrel can get out of the room, and we can hopefully block that door. Just waiting for Barrel to move. Okay. Oh, sorry. So That's all right. Fighting withdrawal. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna spike. The- so now, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna spike the uh, Barrel's gonna spike the um, door closed. Okay, this is an interesting situation because unlike the previous room full of skeletons, these aren't afraid of you. So I'm going to need Veril to roll me a 1d20 roll. We'll have a plus two because of a strength bonus. Nice. Uh, is Schiff helping? Uh, no, that was that was the... Uh, no, that's, the roll for, that's roll for barrel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look good because even a plus two, that's only six. Ouch. Yeah, you have a problem. You're shutting the door and you start to drive the spikes, and the very next round. Okay, this is where we want them. Not yeah, two of them came up and shoved at the door to get, to open it, pulled at the door to get up, to open it to keep you from shutting them in. And we need to roll initiative for the next round. I think we're at, we got the we got an out number four to one, four to two. On the plus side, and I need to roll. F- oh, good. Everybody's good. On the plus side, everybody appears to be pretty quick. Well, maybe not. Veril is tied and Theodore is slow. So, Trouble and Shift, what are you going to do before the monsters attack? Uh, I'm going to pound it with my Warhammer. It's <laughs> a good idea. Uh. I think I only got a strength three. It's my strength. Uh, yeah, I got an eleven. Got an eleven. Yeah, that I'm is a plus one. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Strength, strength bonus, and your attack bonus. Yeah, my strength is a seven. Oh, you have a penalty strength. Okay. All right. So yeah, you missed. Um, and who did I say? Trouble is also fast. Okay, so I'm going to try it with my short sword there. And uh, okay. Same one you nicked last round. And maybe it's also by one, one of his butt. Uh, maybe, down before. Yeah, maybe we need to think about getting out of here. Either going down to this door, the door we already have opened, and um, get out of this area. Otherwise, it's going to be a short evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're used to that. But <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, so trouble roll to hit. Looks like a hit. Roll some damage. Five. Nice. And then can I move also? Not after an attack. Okay. And yeah, you have attacked, you have hit, you have done damage, and you have not slain your opponent. 
Uh, it is their turn now. They are still in melee. Oh, we're doing so against. Well, that's definitely a miss against Veril and against Trouble. That's a hit. There we go. Two points of damage for Trouble. I took it off. He, he, he's doomed. Okay, and then the guys with the bows in the back are dealing with, I can only really shoot at two of you, so let's see. So we got going here. So, three attacks on Vero. Ouch, Vero. That's not a good sign. Three attacks on Trouble. Okay, so. Yeah, Vero is down. Oh, no. Trouble takes six. <laughs> Dead? Yeah, you're unconscious at least. Uh, yeah, negative three. You and I with your hip, with your pure light wounds. Um, yeah, I can't even get to you. The oh. skeletons are in the way. I knew this would be a short evening. <laughs> Beryl, you've managed to survive every four eight of this dungeon so far. I know, but I mean, still. So, um, I didn't, I didn't know that this was the way I was going to go with, um, with skeletons. I can't remember. Are, are we at a new round now or? We're at the end of the round. There's two guys who were, who were slow here. Oh, okay. Well, Vero was one of them. So I guess we don't have to worry about him, but Theodore was also slow this round. Yeah. Theodore was on two and the monsters were on a three. So Theodore is the only one with an action left. What is Theodore um, going to Yeah, I'm going to uh, slowly uh, back away. Ah, oh, we're going to exercise the better part of Valor. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, can I just... Uh, uh, Theodore is going to yell at his companions to uh, close the door so he can cast a whole portal spell on the door. Only one problem is that there are monsters in front of the door, so... Yeah, you can imagine his... Uh, <laughs> Optimism. <laughs> okay, so um, initiative. And let me, oops, let me pick a monster and roll initiative. Where am I here at the bottom? Where am I? One. The good news is the ones that you are still able to walk are faster. So what are we going to do? Um, I can't reach Vero. Um, okay, I'll point out to you, I don't like to help players. It's not my job. My job is to kill you. Um, but anyway, <laughs> no, I don't believe that. Um, I'll point out to you that Trouble could easily dance over Vero's fallen body and head for the door, making up to a half move without incurring an, an attack from the monsters. And that would leave the way clear for Shift to move through and then drag Veril off again a half move. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's try that. Sound good, Trouble? That That's fine. If you, so you're going to grab him on the way out? I don't want to leave him. Okay. So I, we're going to go back here to the, the door where we came in. Trouble can go, let's see, 30 feet, so 15 feet, so three square, three small squares on the map. Um, and I am not going to make you roll to jump over Veril's body. I'm just going to let you move there. Thank you. So that's your move. And uh, Shift can do the same. Uh, Shift's in metal armor. Shift can do... Well, basically, Shift can push Veril over one space and stand in front of the, the skeleton that's facing Veril. That'd be your full movement. So push him over and then do like that? Basically. Okay. Can I attack, too? Um, I see no reason why you shouldn't. Okay. Um, so you can go oh! ahead and roll. <laughs> yeah. The tide is turned. Take those skeletons. I did a three. I did three three damage. That's not pretty good. <laughs> Minus one. <laughs> well, 
Guess what? He killed one of them. He took one down. Congratulations. That's experience. Right. Okay, and that leaves the monsters with an action. Okay, so now the question is, how lucky is Shift today? Because he may not be that lucky. Now, I'll just give you a, a rundown on this. Assuming that you don't all die in, in this round. Um, next round, everybody here can, or that, I'm sorry, Theodore and Trouble can make a full move or even a double move if they want to, which is probably not a bad idea. Um, leaving the dungeon, Schiff is in contact with one opponent. Uh, and in any in any event, if he's carrying Veril, he can't move more than half speed. He can move a, a double half move and make 20 feet, basically. So he could attempt to run away if he's not afraid of being hit from behind. But that assumes he survives this round. I still have some D20s to roll. No. How many hit points does uh, Schiff have? Um, 13, I think. We... Six oh. opponents attacked you and only one I managed to hit. Wow. You should consider yourself lucky. Yo, oh, yeah. A hail of arrows falls around the cleric. <laughs> so that, that is half. Okay, so now the question is, Can you beat my two for initiative? Isn't it my turn? Uh... Oh, if Theodore has an action, he can still take it. And then we move on. I'm going to move here and uh, try to throw my dagger at uh, one of my daggers at the remaining skeleton. Feel free. And 20. You are at minus one range, by the way. So you didn't cast hold portal on the door? No, the door isn't... Uh, the door Might isn't uh, uh, closed. Yeah, it's not closed. Nobody shut it. Well, that's a hit. Wow. Nicely mm -hmm. done, Theodore. Roll me a d4, please. I'm assuming Theodore does not have oh. a string loss, right? No, that's right. That's not bad, so though. No, that's the best I can do. Yeah. I don't know if that's a reason to cry or to be smile. Well, let me let's see. What do you think of that? Ooh, went down. Congratulations, Ooh. you took him back. Now, needless to say, trouble beat on this one several times, and even and even took a hit from one of its own allies. But uh, your hit was the last one, so it counts, right? Yeah. That's what they always tell me. Whoever lays the last last hit, someone that should count. Usually, it's the guy who rolls a d4 for damage that says that, but. Um, so anyway, as I said, I have a two for initiative. Let's all roll and see if, who can beat it. <laughs> yeah, the two. Okay, Theodore, Schiff. Oh, yeah, Beryl's down. So Schiff is the only one who's slow. So uh, what is that no. think about running up, slamming the door, and then doing the uh, spell? Is that viable? Yeah, the question viable. is, do you want to try it? I'm not going to tell you if it'll work or not. I'm just going to tell you you can try it if you want to. Yeah, we're we're, we're going to get obliterated here. Yeah, we either got to get out or we have to block that block that door. Okay, Theodore is going to yell at uh, Chef to uh, run up the door and close it. Well, uh, I'm really moving slow right now. Uh, yeah, I'll, five feet. I'll, I'll help. Uh, we'll all help Veril. Well, can can Trouble close the door and then? Because you guys are going before me. Oh, that's true. Ship is slow. You're right. Yeah. Trouble could close the door, and Theodore could Theodore could cast the spell. In theory, are we doing that? At least that's what I'm uh, going to do. Feel free to step on top of the dead skeleton if you want to, Trouble. Okay, crunch, crunch, and I shut the door. Uh, now, my move was one, two, three. Uh, that, that's probably my full move. Maybe I can uh, your full move. Your full move under normal movement is, is going to be six six small, or, um, yeah, six of the small squares. 
three of the large ones. I could probably shut the door and step over here. You can. So that I guess I don't know if I have to be out of the way of the spell or not, but you don't. All right. She thinks she thinks she has to. <laughs> <laughs> and I hold for hold. Oh, that's dropping on the floor. That's good. That's a good idea. Yeah. So I reach up to my bookshelf to grab a copy of Basic Fantasy, and I grab the first edition. I forgot it was even up there. Yeah, I was checking the range because I can't tell you the last time that spell got used, but it's 100 feet plus 10 feet per level, so I think we're good. Yeah. So you have held the door. Oh, that's cool. For a few rounds, how many? How, what level are you? Uh, two. You have two rounds to get yourselves out of here, starting next <laughs> uh, We need, yeah, don't we have any spikes left? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. With the door is barred, now we can spike it. Exactly. Okay. My, my plan yeah. is finally coming together. <laughs> I guess because I dropped the spike or something? Well, you would just have collapsed. So we'll rummage through your bag, and, and that can only take a round and, and, and spike the door again. Yeah, I'm going to help. Uh, I'm going to help uh, uh, Schiff go through Veril's stuff. Veril has a problem in that in that he's still bleeding. Uh, I'm gonna while that's going on, I'm gonna cast Cure Light Wounds on him. So you're gonna cast Cure Light Wounds, and Theodore's gonna dump Veril's bag. Is that the plan? Yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah. I mean, Veril's not going to complain about it, right? No, he will. Uh, Veril will not complain about it. Here goes nothing. So that takes one round. Five, five hit points. That's better than nothing. That's, I think that takes him up to two. Yep, plus two. Oh, yeah, two whole hit points. Congratulations. Where's my? Let me take this off of you. Now you don't have a don't have a little crossbones on you. Okay, so while that's one round, so in the next round, I'm assuming Theodore, I'm going to move you, is moving up here to, to close that door. Yeah, I'm going to spike the door. Okay, I assume you're probably going to borrow, since I don't think you probably have a hammer in your pocket, you're probably going to borrow a uh, mace off of Chef. He's not using it anyway. Right. Well, uh, I'm, hammer, a wizard, uh, I'm a wizard, so I'm very unfamiliar with uh, manual labor. <laughs> You manage not to hit your thumb too many times. How exactly do you see? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I saved the day, but uh, we'll have to be careful. Uh, who knows uh, if those skeletons all gang up on the door, may, they may get through. Um, so the big question is, uh, should, I, should I cast Cure on um, Beryl one more time? Uh, and, and that's it for me, or or do we not do that? <laughs> I need I need some hit points to get out of there. I, I don't know, Chef. You're the cleric. What's your professional opinion? <laughs> uh, I think I mean, given that he's our, uh, our our lead, you know, he's he's the guy leading us in line. He he needs to be uh, a little more healthy, a little more hale. I'll cast the second one. I hate to do this, but I need the hit point. Yeah. Another five. What is that looking up to? Seven. Cool. I uh, never used the bar grass before. They're kind of cool. And I have no more spells today. Oh. Uh, you, you go get back to town and we can rate. Oh. Well, uh, we could probably keep going if we're super careful. No more skeletons. <laughs> yeah, you'll just have to be very careful, Farrell. Yeah, no more rushing bad guys. No more stepping into a room full of skeletons. I mean, how would I suppose one of those skeletons? Because you, you saw them before you stepped in. Yeah. Let's, from, from this point on, let's, let's, let's just all be professionals. Okay. I didn't like being shy. That's what I did there. I'm not able to select uh, Veril's token anymore. Okay. 
Hang on a minute. Let me check that. Oh, because that's all. Because I was unconscious, probably. You should be able to now. Oh, what do you know? The controller went away when I did that. That's fascinating. Yeah. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Seven? Does that mean? Um, so I think I'm going to have to switch rooms. Can we take a short break, like maybe five minutes? Just so we can sure, get Sure, that's fine. Okay. We can take a pause for five. So yeah. we're not going to go back to town to rest or anything. I, sorry, I didn't uh, catch you. who said that. But. Uh, I was asking, so we're not going back to, into town to rest is what we're saying. Well, gee, I did no trouble. Do you want to go back to town to rest? Well, and, and you'll, you guys will just have to fill me in because I wasn't here last week. Is the idea, are, are we on a rescue mission that their time is of the essence? It's well, we're not we're, really. Not really. We're, we're saving children. There were children missing. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that is a, kind of a time pressure. This is uh, their third day trying to penetrate this fortress. And in the meantime, there have been more raids on outlying farms and on uh, graveyards. And more, more, more people were reporting the he, hearing a, a mournful horn sounding in the night. Okay, so it's. Oh, yeah, so it sounds like there there is some urgency to what we're doing here. Some, yes. Rather than going and home, rather than going and poking around for another day. I'm only down to one hip point, so you, I may not be here long. <laughs> Who said that? Trouble? Yes. Yeah, trouble doesn't look oh. very good. No, oh, yeah. oh, 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 sorry. I, I completely missed I'm it. Gonna say, I'm in the back for a while. Yeah, I understand. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Trouble is a new character, so hang on a minute. Because, let me roll this. Another window. Okay. If we're taking a break, I'm going to get something uh, to drink. I'll be just back. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Trouble, take a, take a gander to your character sheet. Check your equipment list, please. Okay. I, sus I suspect I have a kind DM here. Well, everybody got um, everybody got a magic item off of a short list, and you got lucky. Um, okay. For their first characters, those those who have lost one or more characters did not get re did not get their magic replenished, but. Everybody got a little something to start with, so. Oh, I think I'm going to consume that now. That first tower room on the left, there are corpses in there that might have magic items on them. And the only problem with it is, is there's also spiders in the room. Hmm. So that's uh, 1d6 plus 1, right? Yep. Okay, that gives me a little bit more. Thank you. You're welcome. Otherwise, you're going to have to have my backup character tied up in a room somewhere, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> I have never liked that. What's, I, was what's, in a, I was in the game once where uh, where a player character joined the party tied to a tree, naked, <laughs> at about two hit points. I have a way to start a game. So we have that door shut, so we just will be able to forge ahead without. <laughs> you can hope anyway. <clears throat> okay, we're back. Well, everybody else is back or not yet? Yep, back. Theodore was taking a break. Is he back? Okay. Yeah, oh. 
Yeah, we're back. Okay, so Schiff, Vero, Theodore, are you with us? Yep. Okay, and trouble still with us. So what are we doing now? Um, can um, trouble give us a listen at the door? Yep. Yep. I'll listen and a check, a quick check for traps. As okay. Always. Let me check that room myself. Eight. Well, that's not the right direction. Okay. Um, you don't find any traps. However, listening at the door, you hear a, a buzzing noise. Mm kind of rises and falls. So I'll tell them that it's a buzzing noise, like bees or sturges or something. Oh, that doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. I think we should go in or uh... I think someone else should go in. Well, trouble is hurt pretty bad. Oh, I'm sure I am too. A room, what room are we going in? There's, I can't because I can't see it in the back door. So buzzing sounds coming from there. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we should. I'm down to you guys. Well, the other option is going back where the spiders were. What do you well, think? Another option is going back to town, I think, and uh, finding some place for trouble to rest up. There's always the throne room. Yeah. I think the spiders kind of back up. Well, what, what about going into town to rest, though? I have no problem with that. <laughs> no. That's probably the safest bet in town. Maybe there's a, is there a, a, like a temple at town or a, a, a priest? There's a priest in, there's a priest in Benwitty. And maybe if we pull our, uh, our gold, maybe we can buy a, a, a scroll or a, a potion uh, that we can take with us. I don't think us. you guys have that much gold. Well, I, I have uh, 50. I have zero gold. Okay. No. Then I uh, with, withdraw my offer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should buy uh, one to get another spear. Okay. So what are we going to do? Are we going to open the door or go in, uh, are we going to uh, head back to town? Yeah, I would agree. I, I think that's um, safe. Yeah, I think we need to recover from bones. Hmm. Well, okay, if you say so. So we're heading back to rest. Yeah, yeah I think that's probably safest, unless you disagree. No. No, that's whatever the group does. That's what we're doing. Okay. Don't so get in too much of a hurry, Trouble. Okay, I didn't know how we were doing it, if we were going to. Okay. So, everybody, I'm going to drop. Hang on a minute. I am going to drop. Okay, why am I not? Oh, I'm on the wrong leg. Ha! All right. Everybody line up in the general vicinity of this door, please. Which door? Oh. Okay, so that's where we're at here. Yeah. 
A skinny character might make it through an arrow slit. Then you'd fall in the water, but, you know. Uh, it'll just look crazy at here. Looks like we got some zombies. Oh. oh. We can always just random. And a skeleton with a wand. And. Oh, no. No one is surprised. <laughs> so, now, I'm going to need a roll for initiative from everybody, please. Starting with me, there's four. Wow, that's so weird. I got six twenties. We're tied then, right? Yeah. You okay? Pick up what what can the water? So Schiff and Varel are in five. Making them are in six, making them fast. Theodore and Trouble are on two and three, making them slow compared to the monster who's on four. Now, to be clear, this is just the monster, the skeleton with the, with the wand pointed at you across the room. He has a gold ring and so forth. And he's pointing his wand at you, and he's getting ready to do something with it. And I look at my screen here. Yes. And we're good there. So fast guys can act, and then we need to... We need to, and then I need to do my thing. So basically, Sh Schiff and Vero, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to move up to the front and uh, next to Vero and try to turn undead again. Okay. Use the uh, zombie row this time, please. Nice. Uh, 2D6s. So seven. Wow. A lot of them. Maybe. Okay. Um, nice being, as they are zombies and they move rather slowly, it may be a little bit before you see results. <laughs> uh, Vera, what are you going to do? I'm just going to run out of there. Okay. Um, <laughs> you can make no, you can go. trouble with me. Why? Well, he can't move with you. I mean... Uh, to the bridge. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you, if you just run to the bridge, there you're going to leave him exposed. Um, okay, uh, I could attack the zombie right here. The closest one? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay. With my my two handed sword. Right. Okay. So so we need to make an attack roll. Yes. So, so that's a plus four. Um, yeah. Plus four? I think so. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, he's going to be a plus four on that. I'll be darned. You actually hit. Congratulations. That's uh, so eight, eight total. I'll be darned. Hang on a moment, guys. I knew it. Uh... What are you trying to get out of? Oh, I can't. Sweet. There we go. Very nice. Congratulations, he's dead. You've deaded one of them. Cool. Okay. So that's Beryl, and that is Schiff. And Trouble and Theodore are slow. Looks to me like Beryl needs to make a saving throw versus Paralyzation or Wands, whichever is better. Okay. Just pull it up on the sheet and hit the die next to it. Um, you said Wands or paral uh, Paralysis? Whichever one is better for you. Whichever okay. one's got a lower number. Nice. Okay, so the one, he pointed a wand at you. His teeth chattered as if he was trying to talk. And you felt a, a 
feeling pass over you, but it just kind of passed by you without stopping. That's cool. That's cool. Great. And that means the slow the slow people can move. Trouble and Theodore, you can go ahead and make your movements. Okay. Um, I'm going to stand in front of Trouble. I'm sorry, myself or Theodore. Okay, that's. Is that all Theodore's going to do? No, can uh, I'll can I still throw my dagger? I think so. Yeah, you're at minus two range on the uh, on the skeletal dude. Uh, you really I'll can't take... target the zombies where you're standing. Yeah, I'll take the shot at the skeleton uh, dude. Okay. You rolled a twenty last time you did this. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, you know. No, yeah, no question. No. Oh. Yeah, no. How many daggers do you have left? Uh, four now. Four. Trouble. Uh, yeah, I stand in front. Of, yeah, I'm standing in front of trouble. So we're trying. Our our goal is to um, get out of here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, preferably alive. Yeah. Uh, so. Should we be starting to move towards the door? I mean, I'd be very happy to go towards the door and then do an arrow shot. But I'm just uh -oh. checking because I don't want to booger the rest of the group. Uh, yeah, and then as we move, we can help. We can try to cover you. So I think I can get like to here and then do an arrow shot at that uh, skeleton person. Okay, you can. All right. I mean, because we got to get out of town, it sounds like. Yeah, we're trying oh, no good. But I'm a great no, that's... Okay. What's your total on that? Plus three is your bonus on that. Okay. So, I yeah, can't... no, you did not hit. And that is it for your actions this round. Mm -hmm. Now, the good news is some of the zombies were turned. Yay. That's good. So they shamble off in the other direction. However, not all of them were turned. Oh, no. And, oh. I mean, were there? Well, there was three. Now there's one, and it's attacking the thief. Oh. Oh, there's another one attacking you, I think. Oh, I just got healed. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we Okay, against Trouble, that's a hit. Oh, no. Against Veril, that is not a hit. I think I so Trouble. Ouch. Oh, uh, four. Okay, and that puts us to initiative for the next round for the three of you who still get to roll for initiative. Sorry, Trouble. Yeah, I rolled a two there. I haven't rolled mine yet, sorry. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm dead. I'll try to beat you guys to that, but... Okay. <clears throat> Disgusted, the skeletal figure throws the wand on the floor. It bounces and skitters across the floor halfway into the center of the room and then points an outstretched hand and chatters his teeth again at, uh, at Vero. Yes. At Vero. No. Yeah, at Vero. Who takes four points of damage from a magic missile? Oh. How, how much? Six? Seven. 
He takes four. Four. Okay. So Vero has three now. Yeah. I fixed it for you. Good news is Vero's still alive. I mean, you know. And then the rest of you guys get to act before the zombies because zombies are always slow. Um. Jeez Louise. I think we might be toast here. Um. Can Theodore try and pull uh, Feral into the into the the little corridor and uh, yell at uh, Shift to close the door? Or is it too Can much? Can you for one? possibly? Okay, Theodore will try to do that. Grab Vero by the scruff of his neck and uh, pull him in. <laughs> we're we're leaving trouble out there. He's dead. I'm dead. Well, not dead yet. Need... Mostly dead. Mostly dead. <laughs> Why don't you just walk up on the drawbridge? Um, go to a final draw. Yeah. Um, and just drag him. I, I don't know. What, what, what do you think, Theodore? Well, I think we should close the door because uh, if the skeleton guy uh, uh, casts a spell again, uh, we'll be toast anyway. Um, I don't think taking a So, so what? What are you thinking? We're going to leave trouble out on the on the bridge. Well, I haven't really closed off the possibility that we'll go back and save her. But uh, <laughs> my plan was uh, I'll wiggle through the 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 windows in the the room behind us. I'll swim through the moat and I'll try to uh, get help. I don't know. That might be a better plan than trying to, to, to fight these guys or wade through them. I'll, yeah. I'll point out to you that you're making these decisions in a 10 second time frame. You need to do something. Yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna get to yeah, the door. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to pull Veril uh, inside still, so that's what I'm. Okay, doing. and Veril has a strength of 16, and uh, Theodore has a strength of. Uh, let me see, nine. Uh, Trance was a 23, right? Huh? What? Well, you did it. Cool. cool. Congratulations. And so Schiff is able to shut the door, leaving poor trouble. You barely knew her. Mm -hmm. out, out there in the in the cold with the monsters. That is so sad. That is so very sad. Spike that door. <laughs> oh, yeah. like do, we, do we have spikes left? Uh, yeah, I think there was like 12 originally. Ooh. Yeah, so we're, 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 we're down to 10. Okay. Want to use another one? Sure. All right. So now what are we going to do? Are we out of initiative? You're out of initiative. Then I'm going to uh, walk uh, back into the room with the, the, the windows and see if I can uh, fit through. Theodore hears a thundering crash from behind him. Oh, we're in trouble, guys. I think those skeletons broke through the door. Close, close the door. Close the door and spike it. Yeah, I'm gonna lock. Um, I'm gonna. Is there any spikes that. left? Yeah, because they they come in packs of twelve. <laughs> 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 you take it to the film manufacturer. Taking it takes into account. It takes into account these kinds of situations. I see. Well, if you want to shut that door and spike it, you need to get initiative. So let me roll. You're up against a three. You need to beat that. Otherwise, you get. 
<laughs> and Schiff took me uh-huh. seriously. <laughs> I said, you better beat that, and he doubled me. Okay, well, so I assume Schiff runs over the door and slams it shut? Yes. Readying a spike. Cool. I expect the door. Okay. So Schiff runs over and slams and spikes the door, and uh, I assume that Theodore helps as soon as he can, as much as Theodore can help anyway. Yeah. And also uh, shutting the door. You let the, uh, ma- you let the magic user spike that other door. It probably didn't hold very good. <laughs> no, probably not. And you, also, Theodore, think- can hear the sound of something slamming against the other door in the entryway. Zombie. Yeah, Theod- Theodore says to uh, the others, we, we need to spike this door as well because they're eventually going to break through. Okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to the rats in the trap. Huh. Uh, I'm really uh, skinny, by the way. Who's really skinny? Uh, Chef. Chef is very, he's not only humble, he's very thin. Yeah, I noticed that uh, I noticed that Theodore was relatively thin when I looked at his sheet earlier. So, so now the question yeah, is, what are you going to do? I'm going to try to yeah, slip I'm through. To, a... I'm going to try and slip through uh, uh, this window, or at least look out and uh, see uh, if it's uh, it's if it drops into water. It does. The it's for those of you who have forgotten, the castle sits on a piece of rock barely large enough to hold it that oh, is okay. itself out in in the edge of you know just off the shore basically so the the moat is the ocean it's not very oh. deep um but it's definitely definitely an impediment to anyone trying to take the castle the good news is you can probably jump out that uh, arrow slit and swim to shore yeah i think we need to do that well, the question in. is the question is will you fit feral Veril's an elf, he'll fit. Hmm. Veril's armor probably won't fit, but then again, if Veril jumps out of, of, of the building into the water in his armor, he'll probably drown. The same applies to Shift, by the way. Um. Well, let's go, guys. We don't have a lot of time. Leave the armor here? Well, it, it's. I think it's either that or uh, we... Uh, we can leave with our lives, or we can leave, not leave, with your armor on. Okay, I'm going to get my armor. Yeah, we'll, we'll lose it. Shield, too. I don't have a shield. No, but I do. So, yeah, leave him behind the armor and the shield. Okay. Take them off your character sheets. Uh, you can drop them in your bio notes if you want to, or put them someplace else, but they're not equipment now. So, And then the next question is, each of you needs to roll me a d20. You want a high roll? And it's the order that you're going through. So Chef goes through first and slips slips through easily. Theodore does the same. And thank goodness he's a skinny elf. So he <laughs> jumps in the water and swims to the shore. Fortunately for you, the undead monster does not seem inclined to come out in the daylight. And seen, as they say. Cool. <laughs> well, we survive, most of us. We're, we're getting better. Yeah, we're, we're getting better. We're learning. Oh, we're doing so good. <laughs> uh, I love your optimism, Theodore. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, John Fredericks, it looks to me like it might be time for you to switch over to your backup character. That's what it sounds like. Um, do you need a moment? No, no, I have, well, I have the character. Do you have a, um, I need to switch. Do you have a token? I will do so momentarily. Yeah, no, I just made two up, two thieves up this afternoon because. Poor Jack, huh? Yeah. Oh, they're both third level thieves, so there's not a whole lot of difference. Okay. Let me edit this real quick. 
and change this. Change that to all players. And that makes poor Jack his human. I assume. Yep. Yeah, that was that wisdom minus one. That's why you're joining this group. That's right. Yeah, he's. We can't, okay, be that so, wise. can't be that wise if you're a thief anyway. Uh, Theodore, don't forget to mark off a torch off your sheet for the one that you burned today. Uh, I already did. Okay, good. I am sorting you guys out real quick on the other map. Oh, but I, I do have a question about my uh, equipment. Uh, as we jumped in the, into the ocean, basically, uh, I have uh, 10 uh, sheets of paper. Do they survive? Well, that's a good damn question now. Let's see if we can get a good damn answer to go with that. I'm glad we survived. Yeah, you're, uh, you're, you must have packed your bag good because you got very little water in the bag at all. Oh, nice. So, Those good deal. expensive. <laughs> and I need a figure for poor Jack. I should have one over here. I know I had one. There we go. Drop this on the map. And okay. This it represents. Poor Jack, and there we go. Okay. Okay, so you hobble back to town about mid-afternoon. Um, three out of four of you returning and uh, looking somewhat beat up. Uh, it looks to me like Schiff was in need. No. Get a little closer and look at these stats a little bit better. So... It was Veril was in bad shape. Actually, condition-wise, you're not in too bad shape other than other than Veril. So the question is, can you get some healing? And the answer is the uh, local, the local priest, at Benwitty, decides to take pity on you. And heals you for six points. Which would have you up to nine, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, fine, Barrel. Well, you managed to survive another another bout in the dungeon, Barrel, just barely. Thanks to your party helping you out. <laughs> Yeah, your max is 13, and you are at 8 of 13. So you'll start the day at 9 of 13 the next day after healing one overnight. Leading to the question, are you going back to the dungeon with 9, or are you going to try and talk your priest into healing? I tell you what, maybe the priest at the local church feels strongly enough about this to give you another... Two points. Oh, yeah, I'm such a nice guy. We need the help, too. <laughs> Put you up to nine of 13. We break your spells. Yeah, yeah, every day I can re, re, re pray. <laughs> so it's the next day. And uh, lo and behold, another thief of questionable wisdom come, has come along to join you. Hello. Hi, I'm Hello. looking for work, and I hear you guys might have, have a um, recent vacancy. <laughs> yes, curiously, curiously, there were apparently no raids overnight. Neither, uh, neither uh, uh, farmhouses nor graves overturned. Uh, no one reported hearing the sound of the horn. We 
We must be making a difference. Let's go to the so, guys, what's your opinion about the the skeletal uh, guy? Is, do you think he's the leader? Maybe we should take him out. Uh, makes sense. Um, <coughs> but you know, I don't. I don't have any armor. I needed uh, barrel, so we're uh, a little exposed. Oh, that's right. You don't have any armor. Right. Uh, well, I, I suppose I can, uh, I, I suppose I can lend you, give you, if we've been together for so long. What, what do you need? Uh, probably chain man. I don't, we don't have any money. Um, I got eight pieces of gold, eight gold pieces. Yeah. Uh, well, leather armor would be 20 apiece, and then a shield would be another seven. But that's... 47. Oh, that's 47. 47. So, you could cover the shield, you sound like. Yeah, eight. Yeah. So, 40 gold would do it. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll uh, lend you guys uh, 40 gold, and uh, you both owe me a favor. That's not very generous of you. Um, so, let's see. We've got to update your sheet. So, um, I'll try to get a good deal. Your armor class is not 16. Veril's armor class should be 13. Oof. What they have used that for? Tag bonus. Okay. So Theodore gives uh, uh, Schiff and Farrell uh, 20 gold each. Okay. And I got a new shield. Okay. So I, uh, I owe you seven. Uh, I owe Barrel seven. Um, and my armor class is 14. Okay, not horrible, but not great. Either. At least we got some armor. Yeah. We're not taking out the porthole again. We don't have to. It's not a porthole, buddy. It's an air resistant. <laughs> it's not a port, not a, we're not going to a boat. We're going for that boat. Right on the graves. All right. Well, um, I, I guess we could give it another stab. We're equipped. So, to Veril's hit points are down to, um, I think you said nine? Nine, presently. Okay. I don't even see hit points on here. What, what about healing for our overnight? I gave him a point of healing overnight, and he has received three healing spells from the local priest. Okay. So Schiff should go for one as well. And of course, Schiff has he has healing spells fresh for the day, but yeah. Two points is right there. Each piece. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so I got to rememorize. Okay. But we're not spending a full day in town, are we? I mean, we're we're spending the night, and then we're heading back out. Is that the plan? Yeah, I guess that's the plan. Um, if we were to give it a one one full day in town, then I could use spells in that day to boost everyone's health back up. This well, is true. This, this, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so how how, how how many, uh, like, how's your health, Theodore? Oh, my health is uh, perfectly fine, but thank okay. you for asking. Okay, so I'm going to cast one on this full day. I'm going to cast one on me. And it takes it, I get another four. I'm sorry, Shift needed hit points? Yeah. No. 
Oh, he did need hit points. Well, you know. Yeah. Wait a minute. And then I'll take that. Oh, doesn't look right. Actually, I think we're fine. Because Barrel's HP is just. If we're spending another night, then you. you oh, actually, no. Let me let me go ahead and cast the second one. Ah, oh, two. Okay. Turn it nothing. Eleven. So if we spend another night, that would take it to twelve. Right. Yeah. And I'll go to twelve as well. Okay. All right, so after one full day and a second night down, I think we're ready to head back to the castle by the sea. Okay, so is everybody back at full hit points then? Um, Veril's off by one. So Schiff is at 12 of 12. Veril is at 12 of 13. Yeah. Trying to get everybody adjusted here. Okay, so... Next day is rainy. And the ugly. And there you go. Welcome back to the castle. It's gloomy, rainy, windy. Okay. You want me to go up and listen at the door? Yeah, if you uh, if you would be so kind. Mm -hmm. The front door is still standing open. Nobody closed it after you left. There is, however, no sign of trouble. Uh, literally. Yep. No. Oh. <laughs> what, what all the heat's getting now? I'm sorry. I said, but all the heat's escaping. Yeah. Yeah. It's a drafty old cold dungeon. What do you expect? Okay. Uh, is Theodore providing light again? Uh, I could. Yeah, sure. I'm lit lighting a torch. Okay. I have to mark which character has light so I can figure out what's visible and what's not. So through the open door, you see the entryway somewhat dimly. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything in there except that the body of the zombie you dismembered yesterday, day before yesterday, is still laying there. Um, as I said, over the night after your last visit, nothing significant happened, but the next night, uh, another uh, graveyard was raided. Oh, nice. This one in Karsten. We got reinforcements. Um, So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking we need to just go into this throne room and, and take this guy out. I mean, it seems like he's the... Uh, Call all this great... Yeah. Dream as, all as, as you were standing at the door, considering your plans, you hear the sound of a horn blowing. Ooh. A long, uh, long, mournful sound. From inside the castle? castle. Um, well, kind of upstairs you're you're not really able to exactly figure out the direction uh from where you're standing but you think it's towards the back of the castle and possibly on a higher floor hmm. okay i have that rat hook so i just go up there I'll, I'll climb up um so who's in favor of uh, just uh marching into the room of the the skeletal guy and confronting him Yeah, I, this seems to be the cause of all this. Um, he certainly seems to be commanding the zombies. Yeah, I would agree. Take out the cause and all the bombs go away. What, what, what do you think, Theodore? Well, I think to be safe, we should spike the doors uh, uh, to our uh, left and our right and then confront the, the skeletal guy. Sounds like a plan. Okay, I thought we mark these spikes off. So we're going to go on inside and that four, we've got eight left, right? Yeah, so we were down two more. Okay. Spike 
opening this door, yep. spiking that door. We're just backing all the doors. Yeah. Okay, so you spike the side doors. Yeah. Let's get a whale if you're ready. Yeah. Now what? Two of them have an oil can. Um, <laughs> can I have that? Back. Give us a listen. Uh, do we see the wand, uh, the skeleton guy threw on the floor uh, still around, or uh, did he? No, the out? wand is not still there. Good question, though. They picked up everything out of the room except that stinking dead body on the floor. He was thinking before you knocked him down. He's definitely thinking yeah. now. Right. You know the, the problem with uh, the skeletal guys is wand. If we if we open up the door and we go in, then uh, if he still has that wand or is, if he still has charges in his wand, he'll be able to use them because he has uh, a clear sight of us. Maybe if we open the door, take a look, and close the door again, at least the zombies will move uh, uh, towards us. And maybe we can take them down one by one because they're they're not going uh, to gang up on us uh, on either sides of the doors we just spiked sounds good yeah i like it so who's going to step up there and open the door and peek you want to take a peek yep okay we're going to need uh the, we're going to need the light right behind him so he can see well yeah Ready? Yeah. Yep. I'm ready. That's what you see. About half the room empty. The I'm back sorry. of the room is very dim. You can kind of make out the shape of the throne, but you couldn't tell if it's occupied. I think we all the way. I'll try to move here. Maybe you can see a little bit more. Can you hear anything, Jack? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's quiet. Real quiet, okay. Quiet. It's a real restful, restful place. Also, no dead bodies uh, on the floor. Nope, no dead bodies. Yeah, there's a few stained. There's a few stained spots, but uh... <laughs> this seems strange, guys. Maybe. Uh... I had expected uh, there to be at least uh, bodies on the floor. Yeah. I think it's safe enough. Maybe we can take a step inside. Yeah. Okay, oh, I got it. And with everybody else too. Yeah, I guess we're pressing forward. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Interesting. You just gonna check out the um should we have well um I doubt that he's left this place. Uh, he must have hidden himself away in another room. Probably from wherever we heard the noise, I'm guessing. Yeah, he pro he's probably the one uh, blowing the horn. Portia, could you do us a favor and uh, go take a look at the throne? Maybe you can uh, find something. I don't know. I guess could I? I don't know if I'd be checking for traps or something like that. Well, he was when last we uh, saw when our second last we saw him, he was sitting on a throne, like it was uh, important. So okay. So can I inspect the um, the throne? You know, very gingerly. I'm using my my dagger and I'm not I'm trying not to touch anything. Well, you don't find any traps. Okay. 
is it just uh, solid stone or iron? I forgot what it, what it is. It is no, no one ever actually inspected it before. It is a uh, uh, stone-based structure, kind of a bench that has a rickety wooden framework uh, wrapped around it, providing the arms in the back. The framework was once ornate, ornate and beautiful, but is uh, is now falling apart. It's a very strange design. You don't remember ever seeing a, a thing built that way before. It's quite odd. Well, we could search it to see if uh, there's any chance it's concealing something. It might be like a se find secret doors check. Yeah. Or a treasure chest. Is Jack the only one doing this search? We could all be doing it. Yeah. Well, you can't do it from back there. Uh, let's I'm see. So secret um, doors is a d6 i don't know if there's any, i don't think there's any modifier on that i roll that you roll that okay yes who's over there is that barrel um that i'm in there. the corner and i can't get my guy to move around right has he gotten out of reach i yeah. had him oh you talk about shift okay I guess I was able to move Beryl without any difficulty. Yeah, so anyway. A funny thing happened while he was searching the throne. Found a secret door behind the. Uh, behind oh, the oh, nice, nice. You guys are not paying attention. <laughs> so yeah, so there's a secret door back there. Uh, maybe check to see if it's trapped. Please check for like being held. I'm healed. Is what? Jack going to check it for secret for, for uh, sorry for secret doors for traps? Yeah, absolutely. I want to make okay. this full of the group here. So we are checking for traps. We are not finding any traps. Want to go in? Yep. All right. So who's opening the secret door? Uh, Farrell. Yep. Mm -hmm. I will open open that door. Oh, geez, Louise. Or zombies. Yeah. <laughs> At least there's only two of them. <laughs> that we see. There's only two that we see. Veril's not standing in a real good spot to see up, that, see up that staircase. And he's the only one in a position to see in that staircase. Not to mention the light's kind of oblique at this point. Yeah. So, I believe this is the time for what we call initiative. I'll roll first. Shift, you managed to roll initiative before me again. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh, no, you're after. What was that? Four. Okay, well, anyway. So that, so I got Shift on six and Veril on three, Theodore yeah. on five, and Pork Jack on seven. Uh, so Shift, Theodore, and Jack are all faster, but. Barrel is slow. Uh, is standing in the way, of course. Well, you can walk past him. There's room. So the question is, what do you want to do? Um, can I? You can, can I move, move through. You can move through Barrel's spot. Yeah. Okay, and then um, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to move once once again. Well, for the turn undead thing, huh? Yeah. Let's see, the lighting in here is abysmally bad. But you can see that you can see that far up the staircase. 
Oh, oh man. Oh, so close. So close. Well, yeah, I needed 13. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's 14. worse than rolling a one. Four, yeah, four of them. What? No, oh, yeah. Yeah, there's four. Even better. It just gets better and better. Okay. So, got two more guys that are faster than that, um, Theodore and Jack. I'm guessing Theodore is not going to advance into the room. That's not his thing. No, no. Burning oil. Burning oil. What about Jack? Um, well, I do have some oil. Could I throw it in at these guys? Yeah. Um, you, have torch, I could light have it. A, you don't have a torch on you. Theodore does. Yeah, can well, I, I pass, him, uh, pass him the torch? Or could you I throw you have Should a fat five. Can, can throw the torch. Well, okay. Now wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Because I don't know if I would be able to like light it like a Molotov cocktail, or just only be able to throw the oil, and somebody else could toss their torch on top of it. Pretty sure you could throw both of them at it. Okay. Do you want to grab the torch from Theodore? All right. And hang on a minute. Whilst I deal with that. And I'll take that off my sheet. And then will that be could that be a ranged attack? Well on here. I'm on the wrong thing. That's not a problem. Yes, that's a ranged attack. So hang on a minute while I do this. I need to change this. Okay. Go ahead with your attack roll. Uh, I'm not bad. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, so now it's time for me to do my thing. Okay, well, the good news is you managed to splash the zombies on the right-hand side. They have oil on them, so make a second roll. Okay. Same one. Thirteen. Nice. So you set the two on the right on fire. They didn't get a full hit, so they'll probably only burn for one round. But you did do some damage. Okay, great. A little, a little damage here. Please. Thank you for the torch, Theodore. Theodore gave me the torch, right? Or Meryl did? No, Theodore. Okay, thank you. So we don't have any light now, but I assume uh, there's light coming from the... Yeah, that's that's going to be a problem next round. Yeah. I mean, if I was somebody named Theodore, I would be pulling another torch out and getting it lit this round. Oh, can I? I thought my turn was over, but uh, I'll uh, try to. Uh, all you did was hand him. The... All you did was hand him a, a torch. Yeah, that's true. The question so is, can you, uh... can you light a torch in, in a hurry? So now let's see a D twenty roll from you. <laughs> okay, lighting a torch is relatively easy, and the question is, how good are you at doing things that are easy? Well, you don't suck. <laughs> okay, you got it lit. You got it lit. Just in time. Just in time. Uh, okay, so that's your action, and that back on so I can see where the light is. That is your action. And I have an action from Schiff and an action from Jack. And Veril is slow. But the zombies are slow. So in principle, Veril should go ahead and be able to go ahead and step in if he wants to. What do you want to do? Because uh, you're, right, you're right here. I would go in and um, just try to... Um, just, I'm just going to hit that first zombie with my, my long sword. Well, the, the guys on the right... Um, okay, I'll hit the guy on the right then. The one of the burn Barrel. Ones. Yeah. Okay. Barrel, I need you to make a saving throw versus spells for me, please. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Was that, yeah. Was that your save? Oh, oh, oh. You barely made it. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Nice. Good deal. Okay, yeah. so 
The good news is uh, Vero was able to resist the magic and did not suffer having continual darkness cast on him. The bad oh, news is goodness. continual darkness lands in the area. Uh, I think it's still going to go dark. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. So I made it, yeah. but I'm still blinded. Yeah, well, it's not going to stay with you, so we could move out of the area. Oh, I see that I missed a spot. Magic. Okay. So, uh, that is it. Oh, except for the zombies. Duh, can't forget them. You could. And they don't need light. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? We we would not complain if you forgot the zombies. <laughs> oh. Oh, who's he attacking? I'm not sure. Probably you. Barrel. Oh, I just got healed. Three points. That's not too bad. I know, but still, it's. But yeah, he was there. And that means we are at initiative. I have rolled a six. Oh, Damn, Jack. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Jack is going to try really hard not to die in this one by getting the initiative, which is the best way to avoid dying, in my opinion. What is Jack going to do? Okay, uh, I guess we have to back up, gentlemen. Yeah, we, we have to back up to yeah, probably do need to retreat. What do you think, Theodore? <laughs> Who's talking to me? <laughs> yeah, we need to retreat, I think. So am I able to feel my way back? Yeah. But I can't see to do that, so... Will it be half No, I don't think so. Jack made it. He's the only one who's fast. Come on, guys. If you try and go through them, it, it's not going to be good. Right. Who's, who goes next? Oh, I guess it's a tie between... Uh... Actually, in... Actually, if the if the skeletal figure is doing anything this round, you can't see it, and I'm not rolling against you guys on this one. So it's between between you and the zombies. So you slow guys are all fast. What are you going to do? Uh, move as far as move as far back as I uh, am able. Oh, there I am. Okay, shift barrel. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hustling out of there. I'm, I would do the same thing. Pharaoh's going to do the same thing. Oh, um, you guys are in leather armor, which improves your speed. Yeah. Varel doesn't quite make it out. You're right there. Close, Close enough. To yeah, you're still in the darkness, but... Fumbling around in the darkness. But surely you can you can hear us encouraging encouraging you. You can make it a little more square. You're playing playing hot and cold. <laughs> Either way, I can get out going there and just. <clears throat> I'm glad I made it. Let's see. Okay, hands come out of the darkness and strike out at Jack. Should have checked behind the cat. And miss him. And also miss Veril, although it was close. Does it sound like they followed us out of that room? Yeah, you hear them shuffling along behind you. Okay. But as it is, they managed, the ones that attacked managed to miss. Um, Veril has the, the sense that, uh, that fists passed all around him. And 
then the next round, I, I'm not going to make you roll for an issue. You guys can go ahead and move. I'm yeah. assuming Beryl is still trying to get out, right? Yes. Yeah. Looky there. That's five mm. feet of movement. You can make the rest of your 30 feet of movement on your own now that you can see. <laughs> Brilliant. That's what I would do. That's why I'm out of there. I'm going, Theodore's going to uh, wait until uh, the last uh, last person uh, exits the room, then close the door so we can spike the door. Oh, another spike. Okay. Which leaves you with a problem. All the doors are spiked. <laughs> yeah, we're going to remove uh, one of the spikes, I think. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, um, maybe we go to the left since we know what's there uh, and face those spiders. I find that spiders. That's about the easiest point we have. Well, uh, it doesn't sound good, but it sounds like the only uh, option that we have at the moment. Okay. Well, another, another, another idea would be um, go down the, the hallway that we were at before because we never did find. Oh, and we heard a buzzing sound or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I, I don't know what I prefer: spiders or buzzing sounds. I think I'm. I'm spiders. I'm, well, I was going for the buzzing sound. But. Okay. All right. Either one doesn't sound appealing. But it, it's up to you. If you have a really good feeling about spiders, then we'll uh, we'll go with spiders. Yeah. I. It sounds more safe. Relatively, yes. Do you guys still want me to the back or should I bring poker to the front? Who was talking? Uh, do, do you want shift? Do you want him in the front or uh, stay in the back? Uh, maybe you should stay in the front a little bit. Okay. In case we encounter more undead. Okay. We're all going to open the door then? Yep. Prying all the spikes out, Veril opens the door to witness an empty corridor. Yay. Now the next room is the one where you said there were spiders? Yeah. So we definitely got to look up when we go in there? Yes. So it should someone throw a wheel in there or something? Well, not yeah. Uh, that way. Well, at the first sign of spiders, I could uh, cast a sleep spell and maybe, uh, maybe, uh, well, not clear the room, but at least uh, pacify the room. You want to go and take a peek inside? Sure. Uh, can we? Can we have um, Jack? Can we have you listen first? Sure. Before we... Jack is listening. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Okay. <sighs> Jack doesn't hear anything. Okay. okay. I bet the spiders have left. They got so scared of it, they walked up and left. <laughs> <laughs> My, what an optimist. <laughs> uh, so... I would recommend just stepping inside the threshold and looking straight up that all good. around the room. That sounds good. I would do that. Okay. <laughs> Running all around the room? Well, no, looking all around the room. You uh, open the door and you see the same glistening in the air that you saw before. And then looking up, because I know you're looking up, you see that. How, how far up are they? Up at ceiling level, um, 14, 14, I'm sorry, 12 feet up here in this room. Okay. Um, you also see the desiccated husks of a couple of adventurers. Our predecessors. Oh, oh <laughs> Literal predecessors. Oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, no one starts singing memories, okay? <laughs> Actually, I think what you need to do is roll for initiative against the spiders. Oh, I need to be on a different layer. Hang on, guys. 
Yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that till I'm ready to roll. Okay, so six and we two and six for Schiff and Vero. Vero's tied. That's how this works, Vero. You are on the same initiative as the monsters. They don't have a ranged attack. If you want to run away, you can. Um, unless they're a lot faster than you, they're unlikely to catch you. Um, well, there's only two of them, right? Yeah. I mean, we, 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 we're, we're trying to push through. If we keep running away from everything, we're never going to get anywhere. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to my, you, my dog was sword. Theodore going to cast a sleep spell? Yes, I'm going to cast a sleep spell, uh, within the, and try to get the spiders within the 30 foot range of the spell. But I'm not saying okay. uh, my... I think my initiative isn't uh, four. My initiative you are is four. slow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, is Vero going to back up? Yes. Please do. I do not want to get caught on the sleep spell. <clears throat> okay. Okay. And I'm looking at my initiative numbers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Vero was the only one that was fast. And the monsters. Come down the web part way and face off against you. They seem. What did I just do? Okay, they seem unwilling to uh, to just jump at you as as long as you're on the other side of the door, um, and they're not all the way at ground level. But you could reach them with a sword if you really wanted to go in there. The room is apparently crisscrossed with webs. Walking through it is probably not feasible for anybody who's not dressed in oil. So, um, they are holding an action, so Theodore can cast a spell if he wants. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, Theodore is going to cast a sleep spell. Very nice. And, uh, yes, I'm going to try to uh, position the, 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 the center point uh, so that the range uh, overlaps the spiders, which would be easy. Yeah, it works just fine. Do I have a spot for that? Just looking to see if there was an icon for sleeping. There's a lot of icons in this game. I don't know what most of them are. I'm, what I'm li literally looking for is Z's. I'll just use this. That's close enough. You have, in fact, put them to sleep. They oh. uh, kind of slump off their off of their webs and sink to the floor slowly. Trailing web behind them, so to support them. So they basically drop on web lines to the floor and fall asleep kind of in awkward positions with their legs going over which way. Okay, guys, they're asleep. They should stay right. asleep for a little bit, but uh, what's the plan? Um, we could light the room on fire with the webs. Yeah. Maybe dump a little oil in it in the room. Well, or could we just go into the room, slice them up, and then go through that other door? If they're sleeping. Well, yeah, they're they're sleeping. But if you, I think, if you stab them, uh, you have a chance. If you don't stab well enough, uh, they'll wake up. Oh, okay. But uh, you're the stabber, so uh, that's your. I'm the backstab. Area. Yeah, yeah. 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 backstab. So are you going to try to going to try to stab them or are you gonna to try to set the room on fire? What's the decision? Let's do both. <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> but we won't tell Jack that. We'll wait till he takes steps. Guys. <laughs> you guys are terrible. <laughs> hey, now we're 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 well, just kidding. Jack. Maybe you can try to stab one. All right, I'll go in and stab one of them. Okay. Okay, so Jack goes in and stabs one, and it is dead. Sweet. Cool. It was a he pulls his i covered sword out of it and, and kind of wipes it off on the webs. And 
But you can see from where you're standing, Jack, that the room is crisscrossed with almost invisible webbing. Trying to walk through the room would probably end up with you hopelessly entangled. Okay, we can't like hack our way through like with a like you would with a machete to get to that other door there. You can try. The problem with it is it's very hard to see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. You can try. There's quite a lot of it, and the light in the room is uncertain. Okay. Can can I try that? I don't know what what you what need me. To Are you going to hack your way over to the other one? Is that the plan? Um, okay, let me hack my way over to the other one and try and coup de gras him if I can. You probably can go in there with him. Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Or, anybody, or if anybody else wants to join the party here, Daryl is going to join you. Great. So you're you going to try and hack his way over there. Is that the plan? Have fun stabbing. Okay. So do you need me to roll anything, Chris? Is, is Veryl going to gonna hack his way over there? Is that the plan? Yes. Yes. Well, that seems to work all right. Okay. And you're stabbing the sleeping monster? Uh, I think I think Jack should do that. Yeah. With his sneaky backstab ability. It's not a backstab. It's a jackstab. Jackstab. Right. <laughs> that. that would have been a cool name. So we're going to go with this, right? Is that the plan? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll stab the spider and Beryl's going to try to open the door? Yes. Uh, the door opens easily. And where's Theodore? He's got the light. I'm uh, Actually, I'm behind the door. It's almost easier in this office. Oh, I can get out of the way here. And Jack opens the door. Veril opens the door. Veril, Veril is, I think. Um, before we leave, though, guys, um, one of those corpses that should have a perfectly suitable suit of chainmail armor. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we can yeah, grab the one directly in front of you, Brother Ago, had chainmail armor. Yeah. He also had a little prize in his backpack. Oh yeah. Well, it's a, I, I don't know. Um, he never used it. I don't remember seeing it, to be honest. I, uh, Brother Ago has a potion of healing in his backpack. Potion of healing. Okay. Yeah. Let's hack our way over and grab that stuff. Yeah. Because I think that it would make sense for uh, Veril to wear the chain mail. Not, not the one already? No, you, your armor class would be better by two. Okay. Alabaster had a wand, but nobody knows what it is or how to use it. Uh, can we can we go ahead and make that swap with the armor? You can go ahead and update your update your sheet to show the the correct armor. Okay. Shift is taking Argo's armor. Is that the plan? Uh, yeah. Okay. Veril uh, is taking Argo's armor. Veril is taking on. Okay. Well, he's close enough in size. Not skinny. Enough. So, uh, and then I'm going to grab... there's a corridor. So you've got your, you've got your equipment updated? Yeah. Let's go. Can someone, get the, uh, can someone search the, the pack in, in the, uh, the, the second, the second body's possessions? What are you wanting? Um, you, there's word that he brought a wand in here. Yeah, I mentioned that just a moment ago. Yeah, now that has a wand, but no one knows how to use it. So can 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 we say Theodore and grab it? You can put okay. wand question mark from Alabaster okay. on Theodore's character sheet. Okay. Cool. When he has time to study it, he may be able to find the command word, and he might even be able to figure out what it does. So we move into the, the corridor? Okay. Sure. And 
hear anything, Jack? Jack doesn't hear anything. Okay. Theodore advanced, so you got a little bit more light, and we got a little bit more light. I don't know about there. Theodore. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think Ricardo goes on for a bit. Interesting. Oh, let's see. Where is the hope? Um, so, want to give a listen to the Okay. The one that's right to the south there where we're standing? Yeah. Okay. You I don't know what I Jack. It's silent. Okay. I tell, I, I'll tell everybody that. What? Anyone got a preference from the door versus the hallway? I think I think we should move forward to the hallway because we, we got to get upstairs eventually. That's where we're hearing the noise from, and that's the, the, the stairs were sort of down that way, you know, from the other. Yeah, that's well, true. We did see all those um, zombies there, though, too. Yeah. Ah, another door. Another door to listen at. Another door to listen at. You hear nothing. Okay, and I'll give it a give it a check for traps or locks or anything too. Uh, you find no traps. The door appears serviceable. Does it look like it's been used, like recently? Uh, yeah. This door is another one of the ones that seems to have had regular activity. All right. You want to give it a go? Open it up. Yep. Okay. There we go. Make sure I've got my view set right here. Okay. This round tower room contains three yellow brown blobs. Oh. Which are oh. oozing slowly towards you. Oh, they're moving. Um. Uh, yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Um, Oil. I guess I should check for surprise. If I was that kind of a guy. You're not, and neither are they. So I think we need to roll. Don't roll until I roll, guys, okay? Because you get way in front of me. Keep saying roll for initiative while I'm going for the button and shift gets there before me. Oh, look, they got a one. <laughs> Two barrels and a six. Okay. And what about Jack? Jack, are you with us? T-Man, have we lost you? I think we lost T-Man. Oh, no. Jack? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I stepped away from the mic for a second. <laughs> Roll for initiative. Okay, sorry about that. No, I, thought I, I thought we'd lost your connection. No, no. I, I just had to step away for a second. I didn't realize things were coming so fast. So we got some oozes in there. Good news, yeah. The good news is you're all faster than the users. Now the question is, what are you going to do about it? Uh, do we have any 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 oil or anything to throw on them? I don't know if that's a good, you know, light them on fire. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I've got extra oil. I've got three flasks. I think I could kill. Ooh. Um. Well, do it. I'll uh, throw in uh, throw in the torch. Okay. Let me scratch off one oil. Okay, so who's throwing the oil? 
Um, Jack? All right, I'll throw the one. So roll, roll a uh, missile weapon attack, man. Yep. And <laughs> Well, that ain't exactly great. I'm a poor oil thrower. Uh, apparently. Okay, so let's see what happens. The price is so low now, it has, it has me off. Yeah. Look bad, you know it. I don't know how many times I have to look up the grenade-like missiles table because I can never quite memorize it. It's kind of sad. I designed the darn thing. <laughs> hmm. And that's, I'm rolling the wrong die. There's my problem. Okay, oil lands in front of target. So that means that you have basically the entire 10-foot square in front of you has got oil, oil in it. That's actually kind of what we wanted, I think. <laughs> Your throw was really short there, Jack. Yep. Uh, so Theodore gets to make a throw and see if he can hit a 10-foot square. Missile weapon attack, please. D20 plus your dex and, and AB. Nice. You can hit the broad side of the floor. Now the floor is on fire. Okay. Okay, so you toss that as the oozes were moving forward. And all three of them got singed. Roll me 3d8s. Unless you roll separately for each one of them. We'll see how they do. Uh, who should roll? Um, let's let Jack roll them since he threw the oil. Let's hope we hear a screeching, bubbling sound. Okay, so another missile attack here? No, just roll one, roll 3d8s. 3d8s. Oh, the damage. 3d8s for damage. Oh, I forgot. No, 1d8 three times. Okay. 1d8. 1, 2, and 5. Well, that wasn't great. But, hey, that last one did get singed pretty good. Kind of makes a sizzling noise like you're deep frying something. Um, they don't exactly scream, but they don't seem happy about it. Uh, maybe we should back off and let this burn, and in the meantime, we can check out that other door. If they, and if they want to fight, they can come through the fire. Yeah, good uh, idea. That would, that's a good idea, yeah. They might be dumb enough to do that. But if you're closing uh, the door, uh, I'll uh, light up a torch first. Probably a good idea. To close the door? To light the torch. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. So Theodore is lighting a fresh torch, and you guys are going to close the door. The oil will burn for two rounds. So okay. oil burn for two rounds. Open, maybe that, that'll attract them to the, to the oil. I'm sorry, what? I said, if we leave the door open, we'd be like bait, and maybe they'll go through the oil. Sure, that sounds like fun. I don't know. I don't know if they're smart enough to do that or dumb enough to do that. Okay, what so if, what are you going to do? What are you going to do in the two rounds that, that the fire burns besides Theodore lighting another torch? Um, I'm, I'm thinking we should just back down the hallway, just back up. That sounds good. Can make a two, everybody can make two full moves backwards except Theodore. Can I make one? I'll bet you'd like a torch. Yeah, remember that uh, Veril's full moves are 20 feet now instead of 30 since, since he changed armor. Okay, so there's that's 20, I think, right? That's 20. That's one full move. You can make another full move back if you want to. Okay, up to it. Okay, yeah. so that's, where, that's where we are at the beginning of the round after the two rounds. Of the fire burning rover, you can see the fire flickering out down there, and you can see the oozes, the sunlight shining through the windows, kind of at a high angle because it's close to noon, uh, so you really can't see them very good. But you can kind of see the blobby things oozing towards you, uh, and you have a door in front of you. What are you gonna do? So, so they're moving. They're moving towards us through the fire. This is this is three rounds later. The fire's burned out. Oh, okay. I just described how the fire burned out. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's funny. These oozes have a facing, but it's like it doesn't matter. There's no faces on them. <laughs> okay. So what are you going to do now? Um, 
Theodore well, is moving. I think we should see what these guys do before we open up any any more doors. Uh, well, okay, that's what they're going to do. <laughs> uh, we want to we want to use more oil. <laughs> not, not throw it. Honestly, your uh, Jack would, would have a better. Oh, he would be better equipped. I, I yeah, I don't know. If third time will be the charm. Want to give it a go? Yeah, that's fine. Do I need to move up closer to be in range of them? Yeah, at thirty feet range is maximum. It's just like just like throwing a dagger. Two, three, four. So I, I don't know. I'll come up to here. Yeah, the little squares are five feet. Five feet. So I'm ten feet away from them. Yep, you are. Throw the door away. I, I don't that's know. Plus, that's actually plus one to hit. So. Nope. <clears throat> Nothing. Okay, you missed again, huh? Yep. So it's like right. Well, you'll have to see where it is. But it maybe I should. Maybe I should write a program for this. Maybe that's mm -hmm. what I need to do. Write a program for that. That'd be good. Maybe I can just leave the book open. Uh, behind and to the right. So it looks you were aiming at the one right in front of you. So you got the one over here. Roll me two d eights, please. Oh, you you threw the oil, and I, I hang on I a didn't minute. Throw the or yeah, like, hang on a minute. Let me see here. I'm gonna roll something. Like okay, there was enough fire still burning in that little space, a little licks of fire here and there, to catch the oil on fire. Roll two d8s for damage to the one you did hit. Had you hit the one you were targeting, you would have had to throw in a torch because he's not he's not oozing through the fire. But that one's still in a in a spot with a little bit of fire going on. Two and seven. Oh, I, okay, now actually that was two d eight for one opponent, so that that's actually uh, nine, nine points for that one. Okay, and that is this one. Nine. It is still alive. And roll one more d eight for the one right next to him. Sweet. Holy eight. crap. He am dead. One down, two to go. How much oil you guys got left? I have I have one uh, one also. Okay. Um, I did not make you roll for initiative. I just gave it to you last round. That one comes up within melee range and attacks you. No. Okay, seriously. Okay, that was weird. I typed I typed the roll one d twenty, and now I did it twice. The first one's the one that counts. That's so weird. What's your armor class? Uh, it should be fourteen, I think. Oh, no, no, it's fifteen because he has a higher dex. So you've got thirteen for the armor. And what's his dex? His dex is 16 plus 2. Plus 2. So. Yeah, I, can. I can put that in his yeah. name. I don't know. That you, you just. <laughs> you just be glad you got that good bonus. Because you because that was a 14 total. <laughs> so your opponent missed you. Okay. I'm going to make you roll for initiative now. Look. I rolled a 1. Sweet. Oh, I'm rolling a D20. What am I thinking? Sorry. I <laughs> I'm getting tired. That's okay, guys. We're going to wrap it up. Three, now, uh, six. So, barrels at a six. Okay. You know, the amazing thing is, Shift hasn't used a, hasn't used a healing spell yet. Nobody's dead. You've gone through a room and actually got some treasure. Mind you, you looted it off the previous dead guys, but still, <laughs> it's treasure. Not sure, not sure if this counts as treasure. This is a major improvement. <laughs> okay, so that's initiative. I got a one. Everybody here in this group is faster than me, even the ones that were old at two. So looks like Schiff and Verilon. Oh, you rolled a d20. Schiff and uh, Schiff's on two, Jack's on four, Theodore's on three. Everybody's fast. Beryl's on six. What's Beryl going to do? Um, 
what you got what you gotta do. Uh well throwing oil. Might not be a bad idea. I'm gonna throw an oil. Have you got oil? You do have oil, right? Yeah, I got three flats. From where you are, um, you are uh, 30 feet away, so you'd be minus two to hit from there. Do you want to start stepping up? Yeah, I'm going to step up a little bit. Can you do that? Move up and then throw? Move and then throw. You can always move. In, you can almost always move and then attack. You can't attack and then move, basically. So okay. now you're at plus zero on that. So roll your missile attack. You're targeting the one directly in front of you, right? Yes. Okay. And <laughs> you, yeah. all right, I've kept Probably I've kept a bookmark in the book this time. Yeah, well, it, 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 there's a splash dagger, so we got to figure out where one. Okay, the good news is you got splash on both of the living oozes. Right. So now, if somebody can manage to light that on fire, oh, um, Jack. Make me a save and throw versus death ray, please. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, you have oil on you, Jack. Okay. If no, they toss, if they if they toss a fire in there before you step back, you'll catch two. Okay, not, but it's not my turn yet. I don't think you haven't acted this round. You're on four, so you can. Vera so was on six, and you're next. So I'm scooting back out of there. Are you and yeah. So Jack going Jack gonna get back because he got oil on his pants and that might burn his burn his butt there. So uh is Theodore gonna throw a throw a torch? Uh, Theodore's going to step back and then throw the torch. Okay. You're at plus zero range on that. Uh, 13. Okay. How much? 13? 13. Yeah. That is good enough. You lit it on fire. Um, Jack, let's have two individual 1d8 rolls because it's splash damage. Four and six. That's good damage. Yeah. Oh. Half and three quarters. Got one of them. No, oh, both of them good. I get both. Fire burns Ooh. for two rounds. So. Oh, great! I'll, uh, now the floor's I'll covered the with uh, oil residue and goop, and you guys have to light another torch. Yeah, I'm going to light a uh, torch. Only have one remaining after this one. On the plus side, watching you guys do this, I figured out a new strategy for fighting these monsters. If I ever have to play a game, playing a game against them, I'll I'll be prepared for them. <laughs> <laughs> what were they? Do we know? Can we identify what those things were? Ochre jellies. Only thing that hurts them is fire. Oh, I I, yeah, I hate those. It's the only thing that kills them is fire. Nobody, nobody likes goopy monsters. Yeah, <laughs> not just goop though. Um, I'm kind of not sure I like. The hard part about monsters figuring out what what kills them. Um, I'm just wondering: are, are we at a, a like a decent stopping point? If you guys um, want to call it here, that's probably a good idea. I can literally leave your characters on the map where they are, and we can pick it up right here. Okay. And start up again. Uh, is is that okay with everyone else? No, that's a good idea. This is probably a good sure? time to do it. Opening another door at this point is probably probably going to get us into something that'll take too much time. Okay. You yeah, guys have got more spikes in this dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just starting to fade a little bit. I understand, uh, guys. I understand. So um, we're going to call it here and pick it up in a week, uh, a week from today at six o'clock central, yeah. as always. Okay. Okay, sounds great. Well, well, thanks so much. Everybody have a good time. Yes, thank oh, you. For yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. And, and, and everybody else for playing too. Most most yeah, of you even survived. Good. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys on here next week. Okay, take care. Okay, Thank see you. you soon. Bye. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. You too.